Hello guys, my name is Luca from Audio Drive YouTube channel and in this video I will tell you which is better and why between the JBL Bar 1000, the JBL Bar 800 and the JBL Bar 500. I will not go into technical details and I will tell you directly the pluses and minuses between these three new soundbars from JBL. The JBL Bar 1000 is a 7.1.4 surround sound system with up to 880 watts. The JBL Bar 800 is a 5.1.2 surround sound system with up to 720 watts. And the JBL Bar 500 is a 5.1 channel surround sound system with up to 590 watts combined power to all the speakers. But due to the same wireless subwoofer, the difference in power is only noticeable when the removable rear speakers from the JBL Bar 800 and 1000 are used. Unlike the JBL Bar 800 and 1000, the JBL Bar 500 supports Dolby Atmos, but the soundbar uses virtual multi-beam surround sound technology to achieve Dolby Atmos. The JBL Bar 500 don't have actual rear or up-firing speakers to get that immersive experience like the JBL Bar 800, 1000 or traditional Dolby Atmos system gives you. In my opinion, traditional Dolby Atmos system with speakers mounted on the ceiling gives you the best Atmos feeling. In the JBL Bar 800 or 1000 case, I recommend after calibrating the soundbar, put the Atmos and rear speakers function at the max level for a more immersive Atmos experience. But in my test, the Atmos sound is quite weak on both and the rear speakers at the JBL Bar 1000 are louder due to the increased power and the added up firing speakers from 80 to 140 watts in the JBL Bar 1000. Stopping. Where are we? In the new upcoming JBL Bar 1300. The extra up-firing speakers and the 1170 watts should improve the Atmos experience by a lot. So the first big difference between them is the rear detachable speakers because the JBL Bar 800 lacks the up firing drivers and the JBL Bar 500 completely lacks the rear speakers. Unlike the JBL Bar 500, the JBL Bar 800 and 1000 includes two up firing speakers for Dolby Atmos 3D sound and two rear detachable battery power speakers. This is the sound with all covers take off. There is the subwoofer and now let's see how it sound it will sound at max volume The JBL Bar 800 costs about $850 and the JBL Bar 500 costs about $500. So the difference in between them is about $250 to $550. Now let's see if the JBL Bar 1000 is worth $250 more than the JBL Bar 800 or $550 more than the JBL Bar 500. All three soundbars have the same wireless subwoofer. It has a boxy look that is made from wood and offers the same amount of power. 300 watts that give you a thrilling and precise bass have the same 10 inch big speaker that is mounted on the bottom of the box so it is protected from dust or even the sharp claws of the kitties. Both connect wirelessly to the soundbar and require a single power cord 
so they can be easily mounted in the room and in my test the GBL bar 800 and 1000 has a slightly more powerful base I think this is made through software integration main unit soundbar is a little smaller than the GBL bar 800 and 1000 and lacks the up firing and rear speakers. If you look at the two main units of the bar 800 and 1000 you will see that they are identical but the GBL bar 1000 main unit is slightly wider than the GBL bar 800 and the GBL bar 1000 just adds two more HDMI ports besides the GBL bar 500 and 800 that has HDMI ear connector, digital optical input one Ethernet port as well as a USB port. The soundbar don't have AUX port that we usually see, but since there is an optical as well as HDMI port available, missing an AUX port is not such a big deal. The main soundbar units have a sturdy construction and are made only of plastic, so they can be cleaned very easily. All three have the same full LED display that is positioned on the right side of the front face and provides you with various information like input selection, volume and sound format among others. On the right side of the main unit of the soundbar on top, you will find the same layout of buttons with a volume control and input selection button that you can use for various options depending how many times you press it, so they are very similar. If you don't want to bother with buttons turning on and off, the GBL Bar 1800 and 500 has CEC functionality that means that the units will turn on and off automatically when it detects a signal in the HDMI port and will take the volume controls directly from the TV. In the package is included the remote control which provides all the necessary buttons in order to control all the soundbar functions. They are similar, but the GBL Bar 500 lacks the rear speakers level button and the button for Atmos on the GBL 800 and 1000 now have levels not only on or off. Both have the same smart function integration and you can stream music to the soundbar with Apple Airplay, Alexa Multi-Room Music, Chromecast and they can be all controlled by your preferred voice assistant, Alexa, Google or Siri. Also, all soundbars use JBL Pure Voice technology that optimizes voice clarity and has JBL One app where you can enable equalizer adjustments. As far as their performance, all three soundbars will certainly amaze you with bass power, clear sound and have enough power to completely fill with sound a very big room. But of course with the up firing and rear speakers the GBL bar 800 and 1000 improves the rear sound and almost feelings by a lot. So the main differences between the GBL bar 800 and 1000 are at the rear detachable speakers where two up firing drivers are added on the GBL bar 1000 and the two additional HDMI inputs. And the GBL bar 500 completely lacks the rear and up firing speakers. So, for $250 more than the JBL Bar 800, from my point of view, the JBL Bar 1000 is not worth it and the JBL Bar 500 lacks 3D sound, so I can't recommend it. Amongst the three soundbars, I can definitely recommend the JBL Bar 800, which according to the specification and price is amazing, but not much better than the JBL Bar 9.1 that was released in 2020 and now costs about $750. If you want 3D sound and real detachable speakers, of course the JBL Bar 1000 is better than the JBL Bar 800 and the JBL Bar 800 is similar with the JBL Bar 9.1 from 2020. But if you want a JBL soundbar with real 3D sound and your budget is only $500, I will definitely recommend the JBL Bar 5.1 with real detachable speakers from 2020, not the JBL Bar 500 or the JBL Bar 5.1 surround from 2020 because they are missing the real speakers and real Atmos feeling. What are your impressions? Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and please hit that like button. Cheers!